You had a great time last night. Music, friends, and of course, alcohol. It loosens you up, relaxes you, and overall makes you feel great. Unless you consume too much, of course. But why on earth do you feel so truly terrible the morning after? You have a headache, the room is spinning, and you want to vomit every time you move. How could alcohol betray you like this? You were such good friends last night. The truth is, scientists aren't entirely sure why we get hangovers. Most people think they know the answer. It's dehydration, right? Alcohol acts as a diuretic, meaning the more you drink, the more you need to urinate. You can drink all the fluid you want in the form of alcohol, but it will never hydrate you. You'll urinate it all out, plus extra. It makes sense. It all fits. Unfortunately, when tested, this hypothesis didn't quite work out. There are certain hormones associated with dehydration, and studies have found no association between these hormones and the severity of the hangover. It's likely that lack of fluids is part of the problem, but not the whole story. The best hypothesis we have at the moment is that hangovers are caused by a byproduct of alcohol called acetaldehyde. As liver enzymes break down ethanol, acetaldehyde is produced. In controlled studies, it causes many similar symptoms to a hangover, like nausea, vomiting, and skin flushing. It's likely that, again, acetaldehyde is only part of the story. Scientists have many other hypotheses, and it's possible that all, or many, are correct, combining to give us the horrible hangovers we're all so familiar with. So why do some people get worse hangovers than others? Like many of your problems, you can blame your parents. Genetics plays a large role in how your body breaks down alcohol. Some people have a mutation that means alcohol is converted into acetaldehyde much quicker, and the acetaldehyde breaks down much slower. Body weight can also play a role, and so can sex, and of course, how much you've had to drink. So why do some drinks make you feel worse than others? Scientists believe this is related to the level of congeners in a drink. These are chemicals produced during fermentation. In studies, alcohol with high levels of these chemicals produce worse hangovers. Darker colored liquors like whiskey contain more of them. One in particular, called methanol, seems to cause particularly long-lasting hangovers. Red wine has a relatively high level of this chemical. This could also explain why mixing alcohol seems to lead to worse hangovers. You're also mixing and combining different congeners. So how do you prevent a hangover? Everyone has a different method. Sadly, most have been tested and provide no real benefit. It seems the only way to avoid a hangover is to avoid drinking alcohol.